the seas are rising. We've seen the type of coastal floodings that we've never seen before. This year alone, the southern part of our beach has been closed seven months. I think more and more people here are coming to terms with, well, now we're seeing the climate change. What are some things that we need to do to address it? It's part of a larger effort at UC San Diego, understanding and protecting the planet, which really crosses the campus. We are looking for ways to both understand the climate change and build sustainability and resilience to help protect the planet as well. The Resilient Futures Project is an attempt to give advance warning of flood events for Imperial Beach. Imperial Beach is a low-lying community. During the winter, when high waves coincide with high tides, it'll flood. One of the most important things that we really had to deal with was when is coastal flooding going to happen? And the Resilient Futures program nailed it. They literally tell us to the date and time, and so we could alert our residents, close off our streets, and prepare for that. For each project that we develop, we build a team of experts. We're working with the city of Imperial Beach. We're bringing together engineers who are specialized in taking LIDAR measurements, and we're working with coastal oceanographers, trying to simulate the wave variability as it's coming towards shore and how it transforms into the run-up. The unique aspect of this project is the ability to bring in the LIDAR observations in a way that gives us unprecedented information during these extreme events. With the drone LIDAR, we'll be able to access places that would be otherwise hard to get to, and which in some ways are the more interesting places because they're very understudied as a result. With the technology, we're able to make really high resolution three-dimensional maps and quantify the amount of erosion. This information is important for the communities to plan better for the future. The Coastal Data Information Program, CDIP, maintains a buoy offshore that gives us a really high accurate measurement of all the properties of the wave field coming in, which is an important consideration when we're trying to drive these models of coastal flooding. This buoy is fitted with acceleration sensors and with a very sensitive magnetic field sensor. It uses these acceleration sensors to measure how the waves are bouncing it around, and it uses the magnetic field sensor to determine the direction of the waves. It's like a compass picking up on magnetic north. The data from this buoy provides accurate wave information and better forecasts to help protect the people that live and work along the coast. We'd like to take this approach and apply it to other types of problems. Communities that are affected by drought, by heat, wanting more information, more detailed information about when these events are happening and why they're happening. We'd like to work with different researchers across UC San Diego to develop similar products and capabilities for communities. It's amazing to have some of the world's greatest scientists work on real world problems with our city. It was a really great application of science to solving a real world problem.